It's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Bloody awful. Oh, shut up! Gladly! Yes, Arthur? You heard about the coach job? Yeah, another run-in with the Cornwall army. Yeah, it got heavy, but well, we came out of it with some money. Hi, Molly. Arthur. I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. Huh. Is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Money in the pot. I made it big. Again. Mm, you lucky people. The rest of you stop being so goddamn lazy and come over and say thank you to your Uncle Micah. Hey. You playing lawman? I do that sometimes, too. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Bye-bye. Okay. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Good evening, Arthur. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine. For now. Yep. Should buy us a bit of time, I hope. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, then. Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. They have been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then, let's go rob some food.
You all right, girl? Okay, girl. Come on. It's this way. On me. Cha. I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamont. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. It beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. <laughs> Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. 
Might be. Ah, it. Damn it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Get down and come on. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. Well, they're here, all right. And they're armed. Militia. They got men everywhere. Off near the porch. They got men covering the house. Gavin gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. Hey, we came all this way, so can you look again and see if you spot anything? Hey, hey, to the left of you. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? Some tents. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey. I'm always up for performance. Just give the word. You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Today is a fine and fabulous day, as all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my Just people. Just a moment longer. Are you? Have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> praise be! I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be. Or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you doctor! I said, a miracle?
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? the crates offer. Search him. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. to get these back.
Keep a cool head. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lying bastards! talking about before? I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Yeah, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. You notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. to work. This is fine country. Rich country. So get to work, 
all of you. We can do well and fine here for a while. They will not think we came this way. It ain't Sheriff to get Morgan. To work. We still need money. Lots of money. Get to work. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can sell another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Well? When I walk around Rose, it feels like a town trapped in time. It really does. Sure.
Perfect. Domino. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't think this will help you too much. Let's go, girl. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. All dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. No, sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's stead. It's a, north of... 
Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Still having nightmares about, you know, that young... a few years back. Well, ain't much to be done. I, I sure appreciate that help, mister. been trapped down here. Why are you dressed up like that? I seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 wait. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. gun you're after, you'll want to take a look in the catalog and see what catches your eye. Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in town. Rose is welcoming to be sure, but we can't just let all types have their way. Ah, well, let's have a look. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. Now, I do have some foreign-made iron when it's quality, but here in Rhodes, American is preferred. See Mr. Banks across the way there? He ain't the friendliest at first. He's nice enough when you get to know him. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. 
If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. You'll notice the difference. That'll help, I'm sure. That's going to be great. Like what you see? I'm a bit of a hunting enthusiast, as you may have surmised. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Interested in a stock? Could put some carbons on it, too. That's great. That's a wise investment. You'll appreciate the improvement. That'll help, I'm sure. Now, I do have some foreign-made iron when it's quality, but here in Rhodes, American is preferred. Check the munitions before selling them. Won't get no jams or misfires. Always happy to help. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours.
sold a shotgun to a hunter last week. Made near twenty dollars in sales to the butcher this week alone. Where's my cut, huh? <laughs> Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. I could put some sats on that if you're interested. You'll notice the difference. That's a wise investment. You'll appreciate the improvement. That could really shine with some carbon in it. I make sure to test all my goods for quality and defects. That's a guarantee. I carry only quality goods here. About to close now. Time to make your purchase or head home. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. You, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. Please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. Don't take him away from me. He's all I got. Please don't listen to that maniac. He, he ain't my father. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. I can't lose him. Not again. Please shoot through these shackles. I, I can't spend another day down here. Come on, please. How the 
hell can I be his son? Oh, oh, oh finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sorry. Son. Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you? You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. Okay then, girl. This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Callagher Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world.
Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. Son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Look out for their guards. They're worse for strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck. You better follow that order, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here... If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
Remember me? I'm working for the Greys now. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. 
and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the now. water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Beggar Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Oh, Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, oh you always was. Bo, cocky little... why don't we just leave him? <laughs> Who the hell is this? Follow me. Or what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. All we gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. 
It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks.
Let's have a look. Listen, you won't take all day, will you? This is a real fine piece of craft. She's got a kick on her, no doubt, but that's because she's spitting them out like hot stink. All right. I can improve the accuracy of that, you know. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. I have one myself. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. You're gonna buy something, right? Listen, you won't take all day, will you? Chose well. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know.
doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up it, ain't he? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. I know what you about, darky lover. Go. Put a hole in this. Where's the damn what?
Okay, come on. Get you back to the dock. Yep. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Oh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now.
Dumbass. He's back. Get some rest, girl. Yeah, hold still, girl. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. I don't understand that lawman get up. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so... Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Arthur? Excuse me, you listen to me. I ain't got ideas above my station. Sorry. I just ain't doing that no more. Oh, that's the thing for our supper list. Sure, his singing's fine. How are you I'm doing? I'm done with that, and if you want me to leave, then that's fine, too. Well, I suppose I can discuss the matter with Dud. Do whatever you god dang please. Horrendous old hat! Dare you okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been getting real violent. For no good reason. Hurting people just for the sake of it. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Yeah, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. Well, there's always that. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pearson? Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. 
This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. I came to America because I killed a man in Mexico. Powerful man. I My stayed, table awaits your offer, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. I ran. Not for my life, but for theirs. Actually, I'll come back to you later, okay? In this country? I spoke no English. I was afraid. I had nothing except for my fear for I left in a rush. I was starving. Feeble. And alone. I thought I would die crossing the desert. I thought I would get here and be sent back. I thought I would be killed here. Instead, I was simply starving because nobody cared. And then I met Dutch.